Good morning everyone and welcome to Vlogmas week 3. I really don't know what Christmas is all about. where it looks like I've got like two horns on the top of my head but I've literally just shoved my hair up but it is currently about half past nine and I need to go and get some biology work done before my seminar so let me just open my advent calendars with you first so we're on a day 14 now so okay so oh it's a hand cream by A Cooking and it's vegan. I've never actually heard of this brand, but that's interesting. Okay, so moving on to day number seven for Charlotte Tilbury, which is this one here. Let's see what we've got. Oh, it's another skincare product. That's cute. Okay, so this is the Wonder Glow Primer slash Moisturizer I put on DF Foundation. I had a mini of this and I absolutely loved it, so I'm excited to have this again. Finally, let's open my Body Shop Advent Calendar. Okay, so I finally managed to get it out. Let's open it and see what we've got. Okay, so it's another mini face mask. So this one's the Nick. I'm not going to be able to pronounce that. Nicaraguan coffee. <laughs> Don't come for us if I said that wrong. But this is what I've got in day 14 of my body shop advent calendar. Okay, so I just realised that I didn't actually open my chocolate advent calendars yesterday because I wasn't in. So I'm going to quickly open door number 13 now and then I'll open day number 14 later. Okay, so in day number 13 in my Cadbury's one, it is a little snowman. And then in day number 13 for my Maltese one, I have a little Christmas tree. Okay, so I've just put the second tree up. This is actually the tree that I used to have in my flat that I lived in when I was 20. So it's very weird putting this up because it's been four years since then. But yeah, it's not the best looking tree, but it's basically just where all our special like baubles, like our Disney baubles and Hammett's baubles and stuff are going to go on. So I just need to put the lights on when my mom gets home because I'm not quite sure which one she wants to put on. I think she wants to put the pink ones on, but... Yeah, I will sort it out, but I actually need to go and get ready for a seminar now. So. Mind the kettle in the background, but I've literally just gotten off my seminar and out of the shower. Hence why my hair is like this. Yet again, I'm using by Sean's towel scrunchies, so they always come in handy. But I've just made myself a drink of black currant juice because I need to rehydrate because I'm really dehydrated. And then I'm going to have my super noodles because I can't really be bothered to make anything else. Good morning, everyone. So, sorry I didn't vlog anything else yesterday. I wasn't actually doing anything, so I didn't see the point in picking up the camera. But it is now half past nine. I have been awake since eight o'clock, but to be quite honest, I really couldn't be bothered to get out of bed. So, before I start anything today, let's open my advent calendar. Okay, so as always, let's open my glossy box one. So, I'm looking for day number 15. <gasps> stop. Oh my god, it's from Fenty Beauty. Oh my god, this is so exciting. I love Fenty Beauty. So, it says it's a matte stick. Shimmer skin stick. Stop. It's in the shade Trippin'. I'm actually going to get this out because I really want to see what it looks like because I'm really intrigued. By the way, don't you just love the Fenty Beauty packaging? Like, look how beautiful that is. Okay, let's see what it looks like. Stop. Are you kidding me? <gasps> okay, so it's like a highlighter. <gasps> oh my god, that is so freaking pretty. Like, look at that shimmer. <gasps> oh my god. I've never actually used, like, a shimmer stick before, so like a highlighting stick. So I'm really excited to try this. Oh my god, it's so bloody beautiful. Is that a joke? Okay, and then we have my body shop advent calendar. So where is day 15? Um, this massive one staring us right in the face. <laughs> I feel like I'm 
think this could be the conditioner to the banana shampoo that I got, which I'm hoping anyways, because I can't wait to use them together. Oh, yay, it is. Yeah, this has really excited me. I cannot wait to use them two together. I've been dying to try these products for the longest time, so I'm very excited. Okay, so I had my breakfast and I watched TV for a bit, and then I started watching my lectures for today's seminar, but... um. It's a 50 minute lecture and I just don't have that kind of attention span so I've kind of just read through the rest and I kind of know what the seminar is going to be on today so I can't really be bothered to watch the rest of the lecture so yeah and it is the last day so you know it's fine but I have actually just managed to order some creams from Zoe Bay Beauty on Instagram so I've been following her for quite a while and I've seen the results of our creams and they're like absolutely amazing. Um, so I was literally sat on the website from like 58 minutes past 11 just constantly refreshing because I really wanted to get my hands on some. So I got the amethyst jar and also the avocado and aloe cream. Um, the avocado and aloe cream is actually not for me, it's for someone else because it helps with psoriasis. But I got the amethyst one because it apparently helps with like sleep and like anxiety which is like kind of what i really need on night time because i really struggle to sleep and i always get anxiety around this time of year i've got no idea why so yeah i was excited that i finally was able to pick up some of them creams so yeah i've got a lecture in about an hour so i might try and go and sit back and look at some work for it or i might just get ready and take the dog out for a walk before it starts I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so I was just minding my own business on the sofa and then um, the post woman actually came to the door um, with my glossy box for this month and I actually wasn't expecting it because I hadn't realised it had been dispatched but I thought we'd open it up together because it's actually a really cute box this month. So this is what the box looks like this year. Isn't this like so cute? I might actually keep this and like put some little like gifts in it for someone next year because I just think it's like a really cute box. Um, so this is what it looks like when you open it up. It's got like the cute little bow and it says best time of the year all the way around it. And then if I just pull this off. And then you get like the little card that explains everything in it. And if I just open it up. Ooh, okay. So... We've got the cocoa butter formula with vitamin E, soft and, and smooth. So this is actually such a nostalgic smell for me. Like I can smell what it's like already because I'm sure I used to have this in like a lip balm or something when I was like younger, but this is really nice. And then we have a nail berry nail varnish. So this is actually a really cute colour. Not really my colour, but I am kind of vibing with the dark pink. It is quite cute. So I might try it out on my nails and see what it looks like. And then here we have a symbiosis, is that how you pronounce it? I'm not quite sure. Glycolic acid and RNA. So this is an overnight rejuvenating eye serum. Oh, okay. That's good. I was actually running out of my last like, eye serum. So it's good that I've now got this. And then here we have some baggage claim gold eye masks. Oh my god, I so need these for my eyes. Honestly, the bags under my eyes are just ridiculous. So I'm looking forward to using these. And these are by Wonder Beauty. And then we have a Sports Fix Hick Highlighter, which is a high intensity illuminating trio. Oh, okay. I love a good highlighter. So let's get it out and see what it looks like. So this is what it looks like out of the packaging. It's like matte black. It's actually so nice. Open it. This is what it looks like. That is actually so cute. Um, can't see it's gonna have the best pigment, but um, it does look really nice. So I'll try it out and I'll let you know what I think of it. So yeah, that is everything I got in my glossy box this month. I'm now gonna go upstairs and get ready for my lecture because it's in half an hour. I kind of want to make like a little snack beforehand. So, okay, so yeah. I've just quickly gotten ready. I've actually got a Christmas jumper on today. Um, from a shop on Instagram. I can't remember what it's called. Um, but I will link it down below. It's just this like little Mickey Mouse wreath one. I think I actually wore it in my like last week of university vlog so I will leave it down below if you want to get it but yeah I totally forgot that we're actually having to wear Christmas clothes today for my last seminar so I just shoved this jumper on and I've actually also got some little like Christmas tree glasses that I think I might put on you know just to be that little bit extra for a bit on the air uh, group chats but who knows I'll see how I feel but I'm just gonna go and get washed brush my teeth and then I'm gonna sit on the seminar final seminar of the term for two hours so
so it's been a hot second since I spoke to you. It's basically, I went on my seminar and then I went into my hometown to pick up the last few Christmas bits. Um, I also picked up two bodysuits from New Look, which were five pound each, which is like ridiculous, which I'll show you in a second. And I also picked myself up the L'Oreal Revitalift Filler Hyaluronic Acid anti-wrinkle cream i've been wanting this for quite a while so i'm really excited to give it a try okay so these are the two body suits that i picked up and um, this is like a navy blue and then this is like a dusky pink it's not usually something that i would normally choose to wear but basically i've been looking for a nice top for christmas and i couldn't find one that i liked anywhere and i'm actually really enjoying wearing body suits because if you can't tell i've got like quite a lot of them and i've got some at uni as well um, and I really like the new look ones because they're actually long enough for my torso and they don't give us a huge wedgie. So I'm quite excited to try these on to see what they look like. Um, hopefully they look nice and I won't have to take them back. So yeah, that's what I picked up from new look today. And then me and my mum have actually just put the light and my special baubles on the tray upstairs, which I put up yesterday. So this is where Disney slash special bauble tray with the pink lights on. I'll just turn the light off so you can actually get the full effect. <laughs> But yeah, this is our special bauble tree and I just absolutely love it. Like I've got my new, my little 2020 gingerbread man key and then we've got some like baubles from Primark. Then my little Nutcracker drummer man and then also quite a lot of what's special Disney baubles. I've also got my John Lewis ones on here and some more Disney ones and then like a Harrods baubles. And then this is a new edition this year, like look how cute he is, it's a Dumbo. And then we've also got the Aristocats, which I brought my mom, which is also new. And then this one is new as well, like look how pretty she is. And also my little gingerbread men in the little castle cone, which is literally my favourite bauble I've ever bought from Disneyland Paris. So that's basically what I've been doing since talking to you last, but I'm just going to go downstairs and chill with my mom now. And I think we're going to maybe put the snow scene up, I'm not sure but if we do i'll show you but other than that i'll just catch up with you in the morning hey everyone so it's now the next day and honestly i didn't want to get out of bed this morning the weather is so miserable it's currently 10 o'clock i was meant to get up at nine but i just fell back asleep because it was still so dark but look how miserable the weather is like it may as well be dark and we might as well just sleep through the whole day because it's just awful outside but yeah let's just open my advent calendars before i go downstairs i'm gonna have to mind the awful lighting because i've literally got no light in my room today but first let's start my glossy box advent calendar again so here is today's advent box i absolutely love this like pink marble one so so cute so let's see what we've got inside okay so this is a bare minerals prime time it's a foundation primer. I've never heard of this and I've never actually tried anything from Bare Minerals, so that's exciting. So next we have my Charlotte Tilbury Advent Calendar, so I'm on day number 8, which is this one. So let's see what we've got in here. Ooh, so this is so cute. So it's a Pillow Talk Push-Up Lashes. I've actually never tried a mascara from Charlotte Tilbury, but how cute is this packaging? It's like baby pink and gold. <gasps> I'm actually obsessed. I'm really excited to try this. And then finally, we'll have my Body Shop Advent Calendar. So I need day number 16, which is this one here. Oh, okay. So on this one, we'll have a strawberry body butter. I actually really like the Body Shop um, body butters, but I never actually use body butters. Um, I probably should because my skin's really dry. So that's nice. So I didn't actually open my chocolate advent calendars last night when I came to bed. So I'm going to open day 15 today. So in day 15, we have a little reindeer in my Cadbury's one. Scene of my multi-user one, we have Santa. But now I'm just going to go downstairs and make a cup of tea and some breakfast and crack on my university work because I need to get my reflection done this week and I also need to start doing my presentation as well. So... I'll catch you in a bit. Breakfast is currently 20 past 11. Um, I've done the first part of my reflection, so that's good. So I'm going to eat this, watch a programme, and then I'm going to get back to my work. So I just washed my face and brushed my teeth, and I have just put my tea tree toner on from the body shop and also used my Avon moisturiser. I actually thought this would have been out by now, but it's still going strong. So I reckon I've got like two or three days left out of this. But now I'm going to brush my hair and I'm actually going to shove some workout clothes on because after I've done the second section of this reflection, I'm going to do a little bit of a workout because 
I'm starting to feel really sluggish and I just like hate it so yeah I'm trying to keep my complexion nice and hydrated and I also want to lose some weight and start eating healthy as well because I'm just like feeling like rubbish really so that's what I'm gonna do so I've just finished getting ready I've just shoved some workout clothes on all my workout clothes are actually from Primark because um all my better ones are at university if you want to do hip hop and um, these are just kind of the ones I've got at home I also just brushed through my eyebrows and put some Vaseline on I'm actually so happy that I'm getting my nails and eyebrows done on Friday because let me tell you they need doing and I can't wait to have some clothes again I'm also getting a massage tomorrow which my boyfriend booked for us so that'll be nice um i'm a little bit nervous about the experience not gonna lie because i've never had one before but i will let you know how it goes so i'm now gonna go downstairs and put half an hour on a timer to do some more of my university work and then once my disney parcel has been delivered because i've got a disney parcel being delivered today i will then do a workout go in the shower <laughs> and then do some more work i'm actually going to try out my dog couture fitness resistance band for the first time as well today so that's exciting. Look how cute it is. It's got like little peaches on, so I'll let you know how it is. Well, that was slightly embarrassing. I was just in the middle of starting my workout and um, the postman knocked out the window and so I was working out. So that was a little bit awkward, but um, you know, we'll carry on. Okay, so I've just opened my Disney parcel and I actually thought that it was going to be something else that I'd ordered for a family member. Um, but it wasn't. Um, it's my ears. Yeah, so they've actually came today, so that's exciting. So... Here are the last of the main attraction ears. I actually like them more than what I thought I was going to. On the website, they didn't look that nice, um, but they're actually quite cute in person. The only thing I don't like is like the velvet headband, but you know, we can get past it. So these are the Cinderella Castle ears. So that's why they've got like the little Cinderella Castle there. And they are inspired by the fireworks. So they're actually really cute. Um, I'm hoping the fireworks are gonna be on on the end of March when I go, but I'm not getting my hopes up. Um, but hopefully we are so I can actually wear these ears. But I feel like I'm wearing these ears anyways because they'll go with any outfit. So that's the last of the main attraction ears. Finally collected them all. I will go and show you them all in a bit. And then whilst I was ordering the ears, I actually got the free baby Yoda key. Look how cute he is. I didn't actually originally go to get them because I wasn't really that interested because I don't actually like Star Wars that much. Sorry, any Star Wars fans out there. <laughs> yeah but he's actually really really cute and i actually really like him so i am kind of glad that it was accidentally added to my basket and i didn't add it myself so that's an extra key to pop on the key tree okay so i've just finished my workout i didn't go too hard today because obviously i haven't worked out in a while and um, i just kind of did like the basic like hip hop conditioning that we normally do but i am now going to take my dog for a walk to cool off a little bit and then i'm going to come back and hop in a hot shower so here we go adding the final pair of the box so this is december's and they are going in the box with the rest of my ears i'm kind of gonna have to try and move them all forward <laughs> but basically these are all the 12 mini mouse main attraction ears for this year i managed to collect them all thankfully i did have to get my peter pan ones from shanghai because they were literally impossible um so a lovely lady from shanghai picked them up for me when they were released there um these aren't part of the main attraction these are the actual disney aerial coral ears and then i've got my belt ears from shanghai under there but yeah these are all the ears and i just love every single pair like they've been so stressful to get don't get us wrong but i'm just obsessed with every pair and i don't actually know how i'm going to figure out which ones i'm going to take to disney um obviously the riverboat cruise and the tiki the tiki room ears are out of the question because they're not actually in disneyland paris but the rest of them i've got no idea so i started the year with two pairs of ears which i got from disneyland paris the last time i went and i am ending my year on 16 pairs of ears so yeah so these are all my ears put together but yeah you might think i'm crazy and um weird for being a disney lover at the age of 24 but Disney is literally my childhood and you're never too old to love Disney in my opinion so yeah I can't wait to choose which pairs I'm going to wear in the park and um, I think I am going to take quite a few because I do have quite a big backpack to take with me so I can switch them throughout the day Um, but it's just figuring out which ones I'm going to take and I'll probably buy more whilst I'm there so yeah I'm going to put these back in the box back in the packaging 
and then I think I'm just gonna go and have a body wash and then wash my hair when I get back from Blythe with my mum because it is getting on. Okay, now that I'm fresh and out of the shower, I actually thought that I would open the second day of my advent calendars with you. I mean, it's like in today's day because obviously I didn't eat no ones yesterday, so let's find out what we've got in today's. Okay, so in my Cadbury's one, we have a little elf, and then in my Maltese one, we have a little teddy bear. Good morning, everyone. So I'm going to open my advent up calendars quickly because I'm really, really cold and I want to get downstairs and put the heating on. So let's get on with it. So first is my glossy box advent calendar. So here's number 17. <laughs> okay, so this is funny. We've actually got the Himalayan charcoal mini um face mask from the body shop in here today. Um, I do actually already have one of these from my body shop advent calendar, but... It's nice to always have a second if I really, really like it, so that's good. Okay, and next we'll have my Body Shop Advent Calendar. So I need day number 17, which is here. Oh, have a cracking Christmas, that's cute. Okay, so let's see. Oh, let me get it out. Oh, what happened here? Oh, okay, so this is one of the Body Shop's liquid matte lipsticks and um, that's interesting i've never actually tried any of the makeup from the body shop it's a really nice color actually it's not normally one that i would go for um because it's quite like a dark dusky pink however i'm willing to give it a go so it is in the shade 034 that's actually really really nice um i love a matte lipstick so especially a liquid lip they're like my favorite type of lipstick so i'm excited to give this a try but i'm going to open my chocolate advent calendars a little bit later because i don't really want chocolate right now because it's like half past nine in the morning and um, i'm just gonna open my blinds but i've actually got my massage today which i'm kind of really thankful for um because i really need one my back's been hurting a lot lately let me tell you my legs are hurting from my workout yesterday so that resistance band definitely works but now i'm gonna go downstairs probably make some winter bakes have a cup of tea Watch a bit of TV and then crack on with uni work, what's new? So, I had a bit of a nightmare. I was uh, sat doing my coursework and my boyfriend rang us and uh, asked us if I needed to be somewhere. And I was like, no. And he was like, are you sure about that? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, well, you're not meant to be getting your nails done. And I was like, no, no, that's tomorrow. Yeah, I checked my phone. It was meant to be today. Um, and I fully booked now. So, unless there's a cancellation. These are the eyebrows I'm going to be going with for Christmas and I'm going to have no nails. I mean, the nails are fine because I can paint them, but um, my eyebrows, not great at plucking them. So I'm a bit annoyed about that, but you know, we move. I've got a lot going on, so <laughs> easy to forget stuff, but still annoying because I was looking forward to getting pampered. So yeah, but I'm now going to go in the shower and wash my hair because it's a grease ball, but at least I'm getting that done on Saturday. So I look somewhat presentable for Christmas. Okay, so my life's been saved. I've managed to get in with another salon on Saturday for my nails to get done for a last minute appointment. And then I actually forgot that my cousin was qualified to do um, eyebrows. So she's gonna wax my eyebrows on Tuesday and I'm getting my hair done on Saturday as well. So basically I'm going to be coming straight from the travel agents to like maybe book my holiday, straight to the nail salon and then straight to home for my cousin to do my hair. So yeah, Saturday's gonna be a bit hectic, but at least I'll look nice for Christmas, so that's the main thing. But for now, I've just made some lunch, so I'm going to sit and eat that. And then I need to try and get some work done before I have to go for my massage at quarter past five. And if anyone's wondering what I'm having for my lunch, it's just my standard chicken salads with sweet chilli sauce and mayonnaise. Okay, so I can't remember the last time I actually vlogged, um, but basically I've been and had my massage. It was really, really nice. She didn't obviously do it too hard because obviously I can't. My back's like really sensitive and um, she said I had like a lot of knots around my shoulder blades um, and my neck and all the way up into my head which is would explain why I keep getting all the headaches but I've just came home and trying to drink as much water as I can and then making my mum and me veggie coca cola pasta because I'm trying not to eat as much meat anymore and I kind of want to like start eating healthier and working out and just having like a healthy balance so yeah I'm gonna crack on with that good morning everyone so it is now friday and honestly today the weather is miserable like it might as well just be night time all day i've really struggled to get up this morning because of how dark it is um but yeah let's just open my advent calendars and see what i've got for tv so mind the light and like i said it is really dark today so my room's really dark i could put my light on but I can't really be bothered. <laughs> so we're looking for day 18. Okay, so it was on the top shelf, so I just brought the drawer out. It was right at the back. 
Okay, I actually decided to put my light on just so you could see better, but it's in this really nice rose gold marble again. Okay, so in a day's one, we actually have a sleek, loose pigment. This is really pretty. Like, look how sparkly that is. Okay, so next, let's see what's in door number nine of my Charlotte Tilbury advent calendar. So let's do this one here. Yeah. Okay, yeah, here we Ooh, yay! I've been waiting for this door to open. This is the Pillow Talk lipstick. I'm absolutely obsessed with Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. Oh, look at that. She is so beautiful. And now I've got the Pillow Talk lipstick and lip liner. I can put them together and wear them. Oh, I'm honestly so excited for this. I wish it had it came in its actual, like, box because I don't like the fact that it's just been put in there without it. But I love Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks and it'll go nicely alongside all my other ones that actually are in colour order as well. Now, lastly, let's open my Body Shop Advent Calendar. Oh, okay. I think this might be another face mask. Oh yeah, it is. Oh, so this is a vitamin A quench sheet mask. Okay, I'm really excited to try these face masks. I hadn't tried any of the, the Body Shop face masks before and I love a good face mask, so I'm really excited to use this. Okay, so moving on to my chocolate outdone calendars. I didn't actually open yesterday, so I'm going to do that now, then I'll eat two days later. Okay, so in my Crabboos one a day, we have a little elf. And then in my Maltese one, we'll have a little present. So that's what I've got on my advent calendars today. If you would like to see what I get in my advent calendars on the weekend, then go and follow my Instagram that's linked below because I actually put like all the pictures and stuff of what I've got from my advent calendars on my story. But now I'm just going to go downstairs, make some breakfast and try and get this reflection done for my university work and So I've just taken a little study break because my brain was starting to get fried, but I've only got like two more sections to do. So that's good. So once I've like watched this video, the last part's just kind of like self-reflection, so that shouldn't take us too long. Then I can upload it in my iPad and be done with it. And then I've literally just got my biology revision and my presentation to focus on, which I'm going to do most of next week and like near the end of like the year. But basically, once I've done them, I'm going to take the dog out and then I'm going to wrap some presents because I've just brought the last of the presents down to be wrapped. So once I've wrapped these, everyone's done and I can start distributing them to my family. I don't know about you guys, but I'm really excited to give my family their presents this year because, I don't know, I feel like it's been a crap year and I actually love the presents I've bought them. So, yeah, I'm going to crack on with my work now. So it's now currently 5 to 2 and I have finished my reflection. I'm so happy. It means I can start on my presentation next week and start revising. So all that's good. I've just chucked some chicken breast strips in the oven and I'm going to have some chicken wraps and then I'm going to take my dog out. But I can't tell you how good it feels to take everything off a list that you need to get done. Like, honestly, like, I just wish I had my presentation done and then I would just be like, freedom. But unfortunately, that hasn't happened. So I'm going to have a nice weekend and then start finishing my presentation next week. Okay, so I'm about to wrap some presents. Um, hopefully I can get them all done before my mom comes home. But I'm going to wrap her two stock and fillers straight away and just put them in a stock room, which is hanging in the passageway. And I've just got Zoella's Vlogmas on in the background. Okay, so I've officially wrapped everybody's Christmas presents. So yeah, it's an overview of all the birds. And then I've got my friend Tasha's there ready for tomorrow. Because now that we've stayed in TS3, right, I can't actually go and see her properly. So I'm going to have to just like take our presents to her tomorrow and exchange them through the car window. Which is like really sad. Because normally we'll go to Spoons and we'll have like drinks and stuff and open them in the pub. But... Unfortunately, we can't do that now, so yeah, it's a bit sad, but at least she'll still get her presents and I'll still be able to see her face when she opens them. But now I'm going to go and write my Christmas cards out and I'm probably just going to end this vlog here because it's quite long already. So I hope you've enjoyed this week's Vlogmas. If you did, please give the video a huge thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below and press the bell notification to be notified every time I upload a video. And you can also follow me on my social media linked down below. And I will see you on my next video. Bye, guys. Last Christmas, I gave you my heart, but the very next day, you gave it.